Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Flight school opens with 15 Pipistrelle Alpha IFR trainers. U.S. Navy honors first female fighter pilot. And an Arkansas teen who attempted to steal an airplane pleads guilty. Welcome to your Monday edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm Skylar Vanell. With no end in sight to the pilot shortage, the need for qualified pilots increases. Worldwide Wings Flight School has a new home at the San Bernardino International Airport. The school was looking to expand its reach and considered California and Texas. But San Bernardino Airport director made them an offer they couldn't refuse. The flight school brings more than 40 years of experience training students to become commercial pilots at their Miami campus. They have a fleet of 15 Pipistrelle Alpha trainers, which are single engine, side by side with glass instrument panels designed to mimic a Boeing 700 series aircraft. The plans include instruction and FAA testing for private pilot license, instrument certification, commercial pilot's license, ground training, and more than 250 hours of flight and simulator training. The school offers a variety of programs with about 30 students currently enrolled. And they expect that number to grow to 150 by the end of the year. Training programs cost $40,000 to $60,000 and take 6 to 12 months to complete. When we come back, NASA's Curiosity says goodbye to the Vera Rubin Ridge on Mars as we take you around the patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. NASA's Curiosity rover has taken its last selfie on the Vera Rubin Ridge. Then it descended towards a clay region of Mount Sharp. The rover has been in this area for more than a year, gathering data for scientists. Back in December, it collected its 19th sample, and then on January 15th, the spacecraft used its Mars hand lens imager camera to take 57 photos and then stitched them together to create a Martian selfie. Air Force legend, space pioneer, and Guinness Book of World Records holder, retired Lieutenant General Thomas Stafford, held a question and answer session at the Pentagon last week. He spoke before an audience of airmen, coalition partners, and industry leaders about his contributions to both the Air Force and NASA. When asked about his decision to go into the Air Force, he said it was one he never regrets. The 79th RQS is named Top Rescue Squadron of 2018. This marks the first time in its history to earn the award. From July 2017 to June 2018, the squadron performed various stateside and deployed combat humanitarian and training missions. They had over 300 evacuations and over 1,400 saves during the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. This annual award is presented to active duty, Air National Guard, and Air Force Reserve Rescue Units. The National Gay Pilots Association will host a career expo for students and anyone interested in aviation. The event has a long list of companies and universities in attendance this year. The 2019 NGPA Industry Expo is presented by United Airlines and will be held at the Renaissance Palm Springs Hotel on Friday, February 8th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And that wraps up today's trip around the patch. When we return, the Navy honors the first female pilot and a teen who attempted to steal an airplane pleads guilty.
The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. In a historic event, the U.S. Navy performed its first ever all-female flyover. It all took place last weekend in Maynard, Tennessee, to honor the life of female jet pilot and naval aviation pioneer. Retired Navy Captain Rosemary Mariner passed away on January 24th at the age of 65 from cancer. Mariner had a legendary Navy aviation career and was known as a trailblazer. She led the way for women with many firsts. She was in the first class of female naval aviators uh, to get their wings of gold. Uh, so to be able to pay a tribute to someone who truly made it possible for me to follow my dream from when I was a little girl uh, is, is something that I'll never forget. Mariner served aboard the warship USS Lexington and qualified as a surface warfare officer. There's more of a presence of female aviators, which is something really great to see. And uh, I think Captain Mariner had a, a big part in that. The pilots say this is an honor to pay tribute to the Trailblazer, and this is something they will never forget. It's just a super humbling experience. I'm super grateful to fly with all of these great women uh, as a tribute to all the great women that kind of paved the way for us to do this today. The women aviators who flew in the flyover symbolize the growing role women play in military aviation. And our final story of the day comes out of Arkansas. On Thursday, Zamarcus Scott pleaded guilty to attempted theft of property and commercial burglary. When the teen tried to steal a commercial airplane last summer to see a concert in Chicago. Scott jumped the fence at the Texarkana Regional Airport around 2.30 a.m. on July 4th and was later found in the flight deck of a 44-seat regional jet operated by Envoy Air. The 19-year-old thought the best way to get to the show was to steal a plane and fly it there, even though he had never flown. He told police he thought flying an airplane was no more complicated than pushing a few buttons and pulling some levers. Scott was found mentally incompetent to stand trial. He was ordered to pay a $1,000 fine, court cost, and he will need to complete mental health treatment and probation. And that wraps up our show for today. If you have a story suggestion, go ahead and send us an email at news-spy at arrow-news.net. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here on Wednesday for more Airborne Unlimited.